Hey, I bought every iCup and eyepiece on Amazon and B&H for Sony full frame camera. Guys, in this video I will review each one of them so you get an idea which one suits you more. This is Oma and let's get started. Alright, we got 6 iCups here from different manufacturers in addition to Sony original IPs. I labeled each one of them cause some look very similar and I don't wanna mix it up. We got double JC, Kiwi Furrow, Velo, Hoodman Hood Eye, Think Tank, and Gorilla G Cup. But why photographers might think to upgrade the iCup in the first place? Unfortunately, because Sony original one is uncomfortable when you use it for a long time. Alright, so we will start first from the cheapest to the most expensive one. First, we got double JC ESA7 model. This one comes at $8, made of hard rubber and technically is not soft as Hoodman Hood Eye, which gonna take a look at in a moment. This little boy is turnable, so you can use it on both sides if you use left or right eye. And that's for $49. Let's put this boy on test. I tried my best to show you what my eye sees in the viewfinder. Also, this is not a scientific test, but very close to reality. So the frame you see is from a camera with a wide angle lens on the edge of the viewfinder. Mm, this is interrupting my vision. Unfortunately, one of the sides is blocked, either left or right, so I need to keep moving my eye to make it work. Don't like it. Let's jump to another one. Next one is Kiwi Photo. Solicon, soft Solicon eye cup. This one comes at $14. This eye cup is very soft, softer than you think. And it says here, Blocks stray light and suitable for eyeglass users. Let's try the eyeglass. Definitely, it's not for eyeglass users. Useless. I can only see 70% of the frame. Let's try it without eyeglass and see how this one works. Well, it's hard to always maintain the full frame in vision. I'm losing some of these sides. Very minimal amount, but if you push your eye harder inside, like this, you can see completely the full frame. But that's not comfortable at all. I don't recommend it. Technically, Kiwi Photo is much longer, it's much larger than Double JC. So your eye stands here instead of being inside. And that's what's causing the blockage of the sides in the frame. And before jumping to the rest of the video, I would like to introduce you to my new Lightroom presets. We recently launched two custom preset packs for portraiture. One is Nature Team, and the other one is Urban Style. Each pack includes about 10 different presets. Compatible with Adobe Lightroom Classic, Photoshop Lightroom, and Photoshop Camera Row. Now the first 100 buyers will get 50% off. Use the coupon code FIRST50. Head off to omagamrawi.com slash store and get yours now. Next one we jump to the $18 Velo Eye Shade. EWS A7. Soft rubber eye cup. But, hold on. These two packaging are the same. With different labels. Double JC and Velo. And the product is also the same. I can tell. They are exactly the same. $8, $18, same product. Seems like uh, both companies get the product from the same supplier. By the way, Velo says here, soft rubber eye cup. And Velo, this one is not soft. This Kiwi one is much softer. Next one is Hoodman Hood Eye Eye Cup. I love this one. Very soft and made out of rubber. And like Velo and Double JC, it's turnable to both sides. Mm. 
and doesn't block any of the frame vision, cause you can completely fit your eye inside and see normally like you do with Sony original eyepiece. And if you take a look closer, you see that Hoodman inner frame is circular, not rectangular like double JC. Hoodman makes two models of this, this one right here and another model for eyeglass users. I don't have that one right here, but looks modified for glasses. On this channel guys, we make cameras, lenses and filmmaking gear reviews. Hit the like button if you find this very helpful and consider subscribing for more. We still have two eye cups here, one from Think Tank and another from Gorilla. Think Tank sells at $20. And this one is a tricky, because when you shop, you see it named as Think Tank Foro EPS Hydrophobia eyepiece for Sony. Alright, that's the model name, and I didn't read the description, but when I receive it, it says here on the cover, or on the package, Hydrophobia Rain Cover eyepiece. So this is eventually for rain cover. And it doesn't suit here. However, this one looks soft, but in fact it's not made of hard foam or sponge and that's to absorb water. It's the last thing I might put on my camera, it's solid and uncomfortable if you don't use it with rain cover. And the last one we got here today is Gorilla G Cup. The slogan says, see better, shoot better. It's very soft, softer than any eye cup I tried today, but it's huge and I'm sure it block some of the camera screen. So let's put this guy on test and see how bad or good it is. Guys, this one is really comfortable, except that it blocks some of my screen view. So if you look at your images after you shoot like me, this one is not the right choice of eye cups. And on the other hand, it doesn't really work nice with the glasses. Cause you can't fit your eye inside. So which one do you like more? Let me know in the comment section down below. And personally, I will pick up Hoodman Hood Eye. It's the best and most practical eye cup I tried. It doesn't block the frame sides, very soft and feels like baby skin. And the second choice will be keeping Sony original eye cup. To me, I find it much more comfortable than Double JC, Kiwi Photo, Velo, and definitely Think Tank. And it doesn't block any of the frame vision. All the other ones are a waste of money. Although Gorilla G Cup is very comfortable, it blocks the screen view. I will keep link of each product in the description box down below, so you pick up the one you like. If you find this very helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more. Thank you for watching guys, this was Oma and see you in another one.